Hey everybody, what's going on? Your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza here. Welcome back to Let's Play some more Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade, where in the last episode we got to travel through Marrow Rock North and South to try to make our way to Dead Eye Ridge, and we did make it there, uh, but we didn't complete the mission that we needed to do just yet. And the other super awesome thing is that we now have the ability to dual wield weapons, so... <laughs> oh boy, are we giving this bad boy... A nice, uh, a nice little trial run, and we've actually had uh, that little side ability of it instantly killing people that it hits. It's actually procked a few times, <laughs> and it's pretty cool. So we're gonna head back to Dead Eye Ridge, and we have to go kill the Vrultok General um, because he needs to die. He just has to. Hey, all right, well. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. There is nothing more gratifying about. <laughs> about going into one of these things where you come out of that portal and a guy just fucking comes at you he's like, oh, he'll never even see it coming. Yeah! And he gets you once in the back and you just turn around and hit him once and he's just fucking dead. <laughs> oh, man, that is just, that is so satisfying. I love it. Yeah, like I said, we, we are most certainly overpowered at this very moment and, and it will remain as such for a little while. And that's okay. Okay, so that's Ironstone Hollow. We will be doing something there later, but not for a little bit. Yeah, you know, this uh, this zone, contrary to what I had said uh, last episode, where we were inside of Marrow Rock, where I said that reminded me a lot of the uh, of the Battlegrounds area of, uh, of Gauntlet, this little area right here, just this one, you know, single screenshot, if you will, really reminds me more of that than, uh, than the other area does kind of forgot about that, because this has more of that, you know, natural dirt trench looking deal going on. I don't know where... Ah, there he is. I was going to say, I don't know where the general is. I know where the colonel is. <laughs> I mean, he's just dead. <laughs> Pretty sure Colonel Sanders has been dead for a long time. God, this guy can still rip me up right now. There we go. Eventually we got him, though. Okay, so... Oh, we're going the wrong way. Or are we? How do we access that side? Ah, damn it. <laughs> I hate when this happens. I hate when we end up being all the way on the other side. I don't think it's really that far away, though. We should be able to flip back around and, and make that not too big of a deal. Dude, speaking of, uh, speaking of the Colonel, now I kind of want to have KFC. I just got home from, from the gym, which, hey, if I go get KFC, I will immediately undo everything that I just did. <laughs> like, so hard that it won't even be funny. Actually, it'd be kind of funny. It, it'd just be funny that it was an entire waste of my time. Um, but, oh, just, it sounds so good. I just, I need, I need that family size mashed potatoes and gravy right now. <laughs> And, like, even even the gravy itself is actually really good. For a long time, I wasn't really a huge fan of it. Ooh, a fine iron adze of earth. Is it, by chance, better than the uh, exquisite edge spatha? Probably not. Eh, it's okay. You know, slowing, slowing enemies is kind of cool, but I don't feel like that's really... Especially for a melee weapon, like, when are you really going to need to slow them down? That'd be, that'd be a nice thing to have for a ranged weapon. The ability to slow people. <laughs> uh, instant death while he was blocking, even better. Um, yeah, I feel like slow would be something... General... Hey, uh, excuse me, General. Um, I was wondering by chance, are any of these arrows yours? Could you take a look at these for me? I, oh, you, you can't come to a decision just yet, huh? Well, let me keep, let me keep, let me show you more. And see if maybe by chance any of these are ringing a bell. I, I mean, I, I heard from the grapevine that, that you were a man that possessed some cold arrows. And, and you know, I, I was told, I was told by, uh, by whoever I picked this up from that I was supposed to, uh, hit you in the face with them. And, I mean, these, these, they're just, they're not yours, huh? Alright. Well, I mean, hey, if they're not yours, they're not yours. I'll just, uh, have a special delivery for you instead. <laughs> He's like, ah! Ancient Journal, Volume 8. Oh, good. Ooh, a weak Blood Ore Dual Edge. 
These Blood or Dual Edges, they look so cool, but they're just never that strong. Yeah. See, that's the only thing that sucks about those, is that, like, imagine if that had the power of this Spatha, I would totally be all over that shit. But that's okay. Let's check out that journal entry and see what's good with that. Number eight. Okay. Journal eight. We are taken prisoner. They carried us across that bridge I found earlier. My last candle is guttering. I must write quickly. The Vroltok have us. We share a cell. There are small blessings, but we've been cruelly treated. Their leader, a young madman who pretends to or who pretends to necromancy, has been poring over my journals. He calls himself the Nether Eye. He speaks of whispers in his mind. What evil is this? This necromancer, he has a foul tome bound in human skin. He demands that I work to translate it. Wait a minute, a tome bound in human skin? Is that the Necronomicon, by chance? Who's to know? It gives me terrible, terrible dreams of having sex with my grandmother! Ah! I don't even have a grandmother! That's what makes it more disturbing. Tales says the wildlings never venture across the bridge, that we are lost. I try to keep her from despair, but my own heart feels so dark and heavy. I have learned much from the terrible book that the necromancer studies. Should the necromancer learn the full truth of what is in his tome, he will open the door to something more terrible than he imagines. You know, something tells me that it is up to us to, uh, you know, kill him before he figures out what's going on with that. So we need to go back. We need to go back. And we need to uh, recall to Avon, which at this point we could probably just take the teleporter back. Doesn't seem like it's really that far away, so I think we'll just go run back to it. Yeah, it's right over there. And then, at that point, I think we'll, uh, you know, go and claim our reward. Oh, we picked up some gear, by the way. I wonder if it's any better. Um, these. Eh, I mean, by two, is it really worth it, though? Probably not. Um, we can get some dexterity, though. Or, we can get five strength if we put it on our armor. That doesn't seem like a bad idea. But we will lose some critical hit percentage. And that's kind of a bummer. I think we'll leave it. I think just on the merit alone of having uh, of having that additional critical hit percentage, I think I'll take that and, you know... I, I, yeah, I think I'll take that over just gaining a couple of... Uh, oh, there we go. I think I'll take that over just gaining a couple of armor. Call me crazy. All right. Well, let's go dump this stuff. Well, actually, no. Let's go and uh, let's go and claim our reward first. Then we'll go go uh, visit the man in the iron mask. All right. Where are you at, Madam Diana? Still hanging out in this one area. I still I still think it would be really nice if they would actually have these people move around a little bit. It just seems so strange that <laughs> this entire time nobody has moved an inch, besides me. Or, and Kaylee, I guess, because she's been in different places, but whatever. The Vrultok are enemies we've never engaged in open warfare before. I've lost scouts to them in the passing years, but this assault was unseen by even my watchful eye. It is curious that they attack so suddenly after the Gorgine's defeat. Perhaps Draven's earlier paranoia was not unfounded. But no matter, you performed quite masterfully against this unpredictable enemy, my young guardian. I want you to have this. It will serve you well on the battles to come, god damn it. <laughs> Probably at least like the sixth or seventh time we've heard that. Now, go quickly to Draven. I can personally attest to his impatience with those who do not heed his beck and call. Ooh, Helm of the Stalwart. Oh, sick. Please tell me it's a good looking one. I don't need it to be another one. Oh, yes, it is. <laughs> oh, it actually looks cool. Yeah. All right. Now we actually look fucking cool. Enough of this godforsaken thing. We actually get to. Look like a man who will strike fear into the hearts of his enemies. Kresh will not be denied! Okay, well, now that we look absolutely sick as shit, um, not in a sense that would make you vomit, unless it was vomit and fear. Ooh, we have a whole bunch of quests that we can take. Cool. All right, what do you have, Sabine Firehand? I don't see that your hands are comprised of fire, unless you are by chance related to Colonel Roy Mustang. And, uh, I'm guessing probably not. Madam Diana's scouts are reporting increased prey tox activities in the splinterful woods beyond the Shatter Cove. 
it would seem that a new queen has been crowned and the prey talks are regaining in strength in numbers. Obviously, we must put a stop to their activities. Being that you're the expert on prey talks, as you're the only one that has ever decided to engage them because we're all fucking pussies, <laughs> shall we say, extermination, you are obviously the most logical candidate for this mission. You will find the new nest in the tunnels beneath the splinterful woods. Alright, well, good. We get to strap that can of raid onto our side and go right back at it again. I really want his helm, dude. His helm looks fucking cool. We have learned that the Vroltok are constructing a citadel called Ironstone Hollow in the caverns of Deadeye Ridge. You know, the one that you probably just passed a little while ago. It is imperative to our survival that they not be allowed to erect a stronghold so close to our borders. <laughs> erect. You must stop this construction and slay the enemy there. Kill the Vroltok general at the site, and you will halt their progress long enough for us to plan our next move. Now go. We cannot spare a single moment as war approaches our, our front door. Yeah, the Vroltok. The place of many generals. Okay, so let's sell off our crap that we don't need, like this dual edge, and the worn flint knife, and the Adzi of Earth. And, ooh, damn, dude, that iron pick has a shitload of, uh, of damage on it. It's almost worth holding on to, just for having that 145. But this looks so much cooler, though. Oh, God. Why do I have to do this to myself? You know what? Okay, I'm gonna sell it. I am gonna sell it. Just because, hey, I'm a blade man. I really am. That's just, that's my, that's my thing. I am a man that must have the blades. It courses through my veins. Okay, so let's see what we can buy if there's anything good here. Ooh, a fine bone stave of frost. Kind of looks cool. We don't need it, though. Faulty edge, light bone. They look exactly the same. So are you telling me that, uh, I don't know. It, they just look the same completely and totally. Uh, nothing superior. Yeah, even that superior dual edge still doesn't have that much damage on it. Faulty Bone Scepter, Fierce Iron Hatchet, eh, nothing there. That's fine. Um, 36, that's almost worth buying a new set for, but probably not. Um, new boots, don't need them. Eh, uh, don't need them. Hit, ooh, Heavy Issued Plate Greaves. Probably don't need them yet, that's only three armor, probably not worth it. Steel Cloth Tunic of the Gale. I think just because of the fact that it matches, more or less, our helm, I'm not going to spend the mail on that Chainmail Tunic. Uh, but six armor for these. Three stamina. Yeah, I was going to say, if we can just... Well, I mean, we can just buy this. Yeah, and just throw that on in there instead. Why not? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. Ooh, Diamond Amulet. I am going to buy that. Um, with my luck, even though it's five levels away, I will probably end up coming up on one of these at some point. But, eh, you know, never hurts to have it. That's that's what I'm saying. Okay, so, real quick, let's sell. And then we'll have just a little bit of time uh, to go and, and do some things. Um, oh, did I not buy them? Oh, I didn't even buy those. <laughs> Whoops. Okay, so we'll sell those off. Um, I should probably buy them then. Where'd they go? There they are. Okay, so let's throw these guys on. And then we'll take our Storm Totem, and we'll throw them on. There we go. Cool, not bad. So, let's see, armor rating 147. Damage still looking pretty good here. Um, okay, our dexterity's down enough at this point that I think we could probably stand to put some points in there now. Which, uh, actually probably wouldn't have been a bad idea for me to have taken, uh, this Lambent Crystal and thrown that on these instead. Uh, but I didn't, and that's okay. Oh, I can put them on this, though. I think I'll do that, actually. That'll give us a little extra, and it'll get it out of my inventory. Cool. Nice. That sounds good. Okay, we got just enough time. I think we can, we can head back. Let's see. Let's see, destroy the stronghold by going into Iron... I know where Ironstone Hollow is. That might make that more of a plausible idea than doing this one, Second Rise of the Horde. Um, let's see, I cannot allow this to happen. I must find the Praetox Lair called the Felroot Tunnels in Splinterful Woods. Yeah, I don't even think that we even have gone to Splinterful Woods yet. Um, we haven't. So, okay, this. so we're going to go back to Deadeye Ridge. 
and we're gonna go do the Ironstone Hollow thing, or at least get started in it. And then after we complete that objective, whoa, hey, it's you again. He just never learns. Platinum amulet. Amulet, yes. Not an amulet like it's supposed to be, but an amulet. Nice. Um, so yeah, I think we'll go do this one first because it's literally right over here. And then, once we get that done, then we'll go find our way over to the Fell Root Tunnel. But that will be something for a different episode entirely. Oh yeah. Oh, give them the good stuff. Leave a pile of crap in their... in their wake. Okay, there's Ironstone Hollow. We got about th yeah, about three minutes or so that we can spend in here. Damn, dude, that little brooch-looking thing that she's got in her hair is kind of cool. I never really noticed that. This is an entirely different area altogether. <laughs> I forgot about that. It's not one that has, like, a teleport, though. I'm pretty sure. Um, I think it's just like a... Oh, not these things. Oh, I hate these. I don't think that... I think this is the first time we'll have run across these little fucking devil things. They're so awful. I hate them so bad. And you'll... you'll You'll learn why. Yeah, there's... They have them in a couple of different designer colors. They're just weird-looking little demon spawns. The red ones, though, if I remember correctly... They're, they're just like little ankle biters, and I hate them. They, they don't, they don't like, you know, go and latch them... They're not like Cybermen, where they go and latch themselves onto you and then detonate, or whatever. Which, by the way, speaking of, of, uh, of Dragon Ball Z... I saw the trailer for that new uh, Dragon Ball Z Fighters game that's coming out, and holy shit, that looks so cool! <laughs> it's like it's like Marvel vs. Capcom, but with Dragon Ball Z, and that shadow is not supposed to be like that. That's really weird. Kind of funny though. Okay, that's Ashfell Caverns, but we need to not be there. We just need to kind of roam around this area and find the guy. I mean, the nice thing with those guys, we can kill literally all of them in one swing, so it's not like, you know, we gotta go and sink a bunch of swings into them or anything, but they still fucking suck. I hate them with all of my being. Okay, where could he possibly be? <laughs> oh, I feel bad for that one that has popped out. He's like... All right, boss, you throw a couple of weird, weird magic balls at him, and right when he's not expecting it, I'm gonna fly out at him. And uh, <laughs> he just said, uh, all right, here I go, and he just gets <laughs> gets an arrow right square in the dome. Oh, perfect. He didn't even expect it. Now, can we reach him from here? Yes, we can. Fantastic. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think that that entrance right over there, that our Vroltok General is hanging out by, I think that might be, I think that might be the entrance to the Necrosis Citadel, which that area bails the rock. It's actually a pretty nifty little dungeon, and by little I mean not at all, it's fucking huge. Okay, enough with your blocking stuff. Something tells me that your, your vulture wings would not be enough to deter and at two, two sets of blades simultaneously from cracking your exterior. Another ancient thing, and a bone cane. Is this what I'm thinking? No, that's Cold Roar Den. Okay. Well, then, okay, so Cold Roar Den's pretty interesting, but the Necrosis Citadel is easily, it will easily have been the longest dungeon that we've dealt with to this point. Okay, so the construction's been halted and the force is eliminated. We must go back to Templar Draven at once. But first, let's read that journal entry real quick, and then we'll go back. Got our dexterity back up to 45. Not too shabby. Okay, so where is the new one? That's the new shit. There it is. Okay. Journal 9. I love that he's actually calling, like, doing these in chronological order, like saying Journal 9, instead of, like, you know, day 100 or whatever. We have escaped. In the end, it was easy, but I fear that the necromantic rituals that the Vroltok had begun will shadow the land for leagues around us. What have I done? I should have stopped assisting him with the book much sooner. Yeah, but, I mean, he would have probably killed you, though, so, you know, would you rather 
have done some bad shit and still live, or just have, you know, deny it and then have him just cut your head off and wear it like a Halloween mask. But I was seduced by the knowledge. An arrogant fool. Now the evil is stirring, ready to break free of its prison. As we raced through the forest, I could feel the questing fingers of dark magic sent by the uh, the necromancer to find us. Branches withered and leaves fell to the ground. We have sought refuge uh, here in this tundra. We must escape or die trying, or get rich or die trying, as 50 Cent once said. I don't know who that is, but I was compelled to say it. Tail says that we must make for her village. She says that there is a song that will explain all that is going on. She has hummed a few words for me. Stunningly, the opening lines seem to be the same as that ancient prophecy I found. Tail is angry that I do not know the song already. She says every wildling child grows up with it. This is a world of many mysteries. Yes, it sure is. Okay, so... I think we'll recall to Avon real quick, and then when we come back on the next episode of Let's Play Untold Legends Brotherhood of the Blade, we will go talk to Templar Draven, uh, gather our reward for our duty, and then uh, we'll go throw off our, our unneeded crap here at, to uh, good old Lauren Haggard, which obviously we're our, we are his best customer, because we are his only customer, because <laughs> nobody else is ever going to talk to him. So when we come back, we'll go deal with that, and then... We will see if there's an additional quest, or we will try to uh, go deal with the other one um, involving going to Splinterful Woods and going to the Fellroot Tunnels. So, until then, my friends, this is your host, Lovely Cheese Pizza, saying thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Take it easy.